A Bronzeville school was left in the dark by a vandal or vandals. They gutted some wiring there, not once, but twice in about four days. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross with more on the impact of the school and the families, all new at 10. You can still see some of the aftermath of the crime in the area right below me. If you check this out, some of the electrical debris still scattered on the ground here. The thought is that the criminal or criminals actually did this by getting up on the roof area there, possibly using a ladder, maybe hopping on a car, and from there, cutting the lines. School's in session on the basketball court outside Holy Angels Catholic School. Nice meal. Inside was a different story. School was just canceled again today. Laniqua Hubbard's seven-year-old sister and about 275 other pre-kindergarten to eighth graders learned class was out Friday and Tuesday. They unscrewed these three covers right here. Because their electrical wiring was out. They cut underneath each one of those black uh, covers. Scott Clawson of Charlene Electric has seen this before. He believes at least two criminals targeted the copper wiring inside the electrical boxes overnight Thursday. <laughs> Crews replaced that. They did it again. Only to have the wiring gutted a second time overnight Monday. I was sad, saddened by it, uh, that they hit it again. I was hoping that they wouldn't. Clawson estimates over the two crimes, the vandal or vandals got away with $1,000 worth of copper wiring only to create about $20,000 in damage. That's terrible. It's not right at all. Oh, very dangerous. He says beside risking arrest, they risked electrocution, estimating the amperage running through these lines as about 24 times as powerful as an average electrical stove. A risky crime sparking trouble not once, but twice. These kids don't deserve it, or the parents too. This evening, as a precaution, a security guard is stationed in this area. The Archdiocese of Chicago issuing a statement saying that the issue has been fixed and school will be back in session tomorrow. In Bronzeville, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Okay, well, restoring history once.